Once you have Audacity installed and open, you should be seeing a screen that looks like this. But let's first get familiar with the tools at the top. Keep in mind that your configuration might not look exactly like mine, because all of these tools can be undocked and moved around. Usually, in the top left of the player, record, stop, play, pause, skip to start, and skip to end appear. In the next area, be sure to note the iron bar, and that should be selected. It is sometimes called the playhead, or in effect, the cursor. Keep an eye on the two meters as well. One represents the input, and the other the playback. Do not go past that bar. Zero point is the highest level for digital audio. So keep your audio levels to the left of that mark. If you need to stretch out the meters for a better view, you can. But now let's enter our personal settings. The slider for the playback in the microphone should be set about in the middle. You can adjust them when doing a mic check before the actual recording. Underneath the sliders on this configuration are some drop-down menus. Select how you want to listen to your playback, your speakers in other words. It is recommended that you listen back through a good pair of audio headphones. In the microphone drop-down menu, you should see your mic. If you have it plugged in and turned on and you don't see it, close Audacity and turn it back on. The transcription toolbars let you replay a selection at a slower or faster speed as you listen for something in particular. Leave it at its default. Lastly on this row is an option to record in either monaural or stereo. In the bottom left is an important setting. That's the project rate. It should be set at 44100. If it's not, go to the preferences and change it to 44100 with a 16-bit sampling rate. Okay, with our settings in place, we should now be ready to record. Modern technology has bolstered human comfort, no question. But it had, but it, but it, but it, but it has also solved problems by creating new, arguably larger problems. For all the relief air conditioning brings us, for example, scientists warn that cooling the interior of our homes, cars, and offices only makes the world hotter, and that's not entirely comforting. Okay, so let's uh, uh, stop that recording. Right out of the gate, I'm going to use the cursor uh, to cut off, hit delete, that initial. But leaving about two or three seconds of ambient noise, uh, using the Audacity tools uh, right away, I want to uh, delete this end of the recording. Um, again, hitting the delete button, it's gone. Now I also see that there's a a uh, extremely high point, and let's let's zoom in and and see uh, what it what is that about? Uh, play. Sworn that cooling. Sworn that cooling. Okay, so I've got a uh, a bad noise. Right there, uh, I want to zoom in on that bad noise. And you can see uh, that Audacity lays down a nice waveform that I can isolate that blip here and get rid of it. Now let's listen to that. Cooling the Cooling the in there's still a bit of a clip. Um, zoom in and let's take that dip out of there as well. Okay, so now if we listen, cooling the inter 
There's a bit of a pop, but uh, I can live with that. Before I begin, um, and again, let, let me shrink down. There are a few blips and blops. We don't really see these, but that ambient noise can be eliminated by going to go to noise reduction. All right. I've selected this uh, silence, really, and using that now, now I select all and do the same thing. Effect, noise reduction. Okay, having defined that profile, I'm going to apply the noise reduction to my entire recording. That background, that ambient noise has been removed. Select that initial area and delete it. So now let's hear what we've got. Modern technology has bolstered human comfort, no question. A little cleaner sound, good. All right, in that same effects menu, uh, let's apply normalization. And I'm going to select all, Command A, or I could have, using my cursor, uh, select all, effect, normalize and I'm going to set my peak amplitude to two decibels I, I, excuse me a negative two decibels stay away from zero uh, that that would be bad okay and now I'd like to take uh, the equalization effect Equalization, graphic EQ. Managing that, I'm going to select the AM radio. So you can see we took out the lowest and the highest and uh, uh, accepting that. Uh, equalization, again, one final step you might do is go to effects, the compressor. Okay, so there, I've set my dynamic range, and once more, I'm going to go back and uh, apply the normalization um, to about negative two decibels. Okay, so now I've uh, really modified using uh, uh, three effects, normalization, equalization, and compression, uh, and, and let's hear the difference. Modern technology has bolstered human comfort, no question. Okay, so that sounds better. Uh, those are some effects that I think can be employed to improve your audio uh, quality. Um, and of course, now when we get into the nuts and bolts, I want to go uh, and we're going to expand this to really zero in uh, on my what ifs. We jump here, but it okay. So that was the first one. I'm going to grab that, this, that, and selecting that, delete those. Now, if we go back uh, to the beginning, let's hear that. Modern technology has bolstered human comfort, no question but it has also solved problems by creating new, arguably larger problems. For all the relief air conditioning brings us, for example, scientists warn that cooling the interior of our homes, cars, and offices only makes the world hotter, and that's not entirely comforting. Okay, I can live with that. We go to File, export as an MPEG-3. And with the latest release of Audacity, it's as, as simple as naming it. Uh, quality 128, um, improving it to 192, and I would like uh, to keep it in a joint stereo. So, 
bit rate constant. And uh, actually, I'm going to put this on the desktop. This we can uh, add some metadata or not. And now we see on the desktop, here's my tutorial. Thank you.